Welcome to part 5 on integration by U substitution. Here's the list of formulas we are using and here's the list of the 15 examples that we will complete. In part 5 we will do example 5 and so on. So if you want to skip ahead that's fine. Okay, let's look at example 5. Which formula is it? Well, this one does not fit any of the trig formulas. Do we see a factor raised to a power that we can call du and then du is there too? I think you do. So let's go ahead and try that. What we have here is sine of pi x raised to a negative one-half power, one over square root, right? So let's try to let u be sine of pi x. As long as du shows up with a constant factor, then we're fine. So let u equal to sine of pi x. du is the derivative of u times dx. Differentiate sine pi x, we get cosine pi x times pi. Before we substitute the u's in, I'm going to rewrite the given integral. Bring the square root sine power x up. Write it as a negative one-half power. This is what we have. Now let's substitute the u's in. We get sine pi x is u. We have u to the negative one-half power. And cosine pi x dx is 1 over pi times du. So let's pull the 1 over pi. That's a constant outside the integral. Now we apply the power rule. Add 1 to the power and divide. Dividing by 1 half, just turn that upside down, we get a 2. We have 2 over pi times square root of u plus c. Substitute the x's back in and we're done. Let's check by differentiating. Leave the 2 over pi outside, that's a constant factor. Now let's differentiate the square root of sine pi x. That's sine pi x to the half power. Apply the power rule for differentiating. Pull down the power. Subtract 1 from the power and differentiate whatever is raised to the power. We might as well cancel the 2's now. We get 1 over pi times sine pi x to the negative 1 half times differentiate sine pi x. We get cosine pi x times pi. Now the pi's cancel and we do get the integrand. If you've been following this series, you know that I advocate doing these basic problems without actually writing them the use. So let's start this problem all over again. We're going to try the power rule with u to the negative one-half. That's our u to the negative one-half. We need du right next to it, so that's the oval. So inside this oval, we must put du. du is differentiate sine pi x, cosine pi x times pi dx. So are we okay? Yes, we are, because cosine pi x dx is there. All we needed was a factor of pi. That's not a problem we can factor constant factors in and out of integrals. 
So put a 1 over pi outside to take care of the pi we put inside. Now the integral is of the exact form, the integral of u to the negative 1 half du. Apply the power rule, add 1 to the power, and divide. Save yourself a step and flip that 1 half right over. So the answer is 2 over pi times the square root of sine pi x plus c. QED.